Hi, first graders, welcome back. Today we're on session 11, which is readers use sight words to read fluently. So today I'm gonna to read aloud to you like I have been. We're gonna be reading the Zelda and Ivy book. And I want you to see if you can spot the strategies I use while I read. Today, I want to remind you that readers only slow down to read a word when they have to. Most words you can read in a snap. That makes your reading nice and smooth. Okay, so let me read to you and see the strategies that I use. Okay. Pretty soon, salsa music drifted out the window. I bet they're d eh, mm, sing, d dancing. I bet they're dancing, said Ivy. I sure love to dance. Oh, all right, Ivy, said Zelda. I don't want you to feel left out. Let's go home. The Fox sisters packed up their stuff and scurried back across the lawn. Their dad met them at the kit, kit, it, ch, in, kitch, kitch, in, okay. Their dad met them at the kitchen door. Oh, there you are, he said. We saved you each a delicious, Hmm. We saved you each a delicious blank sandwich. Okay, let me think back to what kind of sandwich this story's been talking about. Search the C. Cucumber. It says, oh, there you are, he said. We saved you each a delicious cucumber sandwich. So you see how for the word that I did for dancing, I sounded it out by the syllables and I made sure, does it sound right? And then for kitchen, I sounded it out and then I realized that kitch in, kitch in. So I read it part by part. And then for cucumber, I thought back to the story, what kind of sandwich have they been talking about this whole time? So when you read today, remember there are so many words you already know. Watch out for these words and read them in a snap. So we're adding to our chart, so tools for solving and checking hard words, number 11. Check if it's a snap word. So the words that I was able to read pretty easy were like the, I, bet, said, sure, love, all, right, all of those are snap words. I was able to easily read them. But the other ones were a little bit trickier, so I had to use some of the strategies that we've learned so far. And if you can't think of the word for sure, write it on a post-it to study so that it turns into a snap word. So you practice it over and over, maybe look back at the story and say, what does this even mean? How does this go along with our story? Why does it make sense? And then eventually it'll turn into a snap word that you're able to just read and automatically know. Okay, so we reviewed our reading strategies up here. We have our one through 11. Think about what's happening, check the picture, get a running start, try it two ways, look at all the parts of a word, do a slow check, crash the parts together, checking hard words, read it part by part, use a word you know, and check if it's a snap word. So if you have a partner, I want you to read with your partner today. And then make sure you're practicing with these tricky words and your snap words. And then I want you to go over all your tools for reading. I want you to look at them again, make sure that you know and are using all the tools that we have, because why have tools if you're not gonna use them? And then I want you to pick which goal is still a goal for you to use more. So which tool would you like to use more? Okay, now I'm gonna send you guys off, find a good fit book either on Raz Kids or in your home library, and try out this new strategy. Bye guys.